Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Welcome back again. And uh, another video on bespoke pins. Uh, no stranger to our site. Uh, Jason Olson here. A recent pin he just finished. And he always uses uh, some sort of historical wood. Uh, when he has wood showing. Um, I forget exactly what this one is. And this is a rollerball. Not a fountain pen. Surprise. And even a hand engraved double X. It's not a VV. It is a double X. And there it is again with the cap off. Nice looking pen. And see that's like an oak or something. But anyway, great looking pen. Whatever uh, Jason comes up with at rightturns.com. Uh, another one from Garcia. I can't pronounce his last name. Um, the way he has it formatted, you can't really clip, click on individual pictures. But this is a really amazing pen, and he does all of his own castings. And, um, you know, just amazing the kind of stuff that this guy does. And uh, really good to be a, a part of the Pen Artisan Guild and him being in there with with the rest the rest of us so pretty cool just amazing craftsman here always amazing what he comes up with i think he said it took him 120 hours to make this one pen and looking at it you can see why uh, another one here from john lester uh, really cool looking pen um, i love the six-sided and then it sort of twists halfway through I think this is a would have to be a single start thread I'm not exactly sure in order to get everything to line up properly when you put the cap back on and a little bit closer look at that and you can see how that does a switch up halfway through on both sides really cool looking design always good to see what he comes up with Lauren Rance, I think I've shown this pen off before in the past, but, uh, you know, um, but just in case I didn't, I really wanted to show it off with this copper patina on there and even uh, the amount of work that goes into his box making. And there it is inside the box. Really nice looking pen from Lauren Rance. Aaron Logue from the Custom Pen Makers PAG Friends. This is one he just completed really good looking pen here and you can see it with the clear view body when you get that uh, converter inside there or you could use this potentially as an as an eyedropper I probably wouldn't use it as an eyedropper because it would stain all that but anyway nice looking pen from him and there it is with the cap off and you can see the cap would extend all the way out to this ring right here so this is a uh, I think close to a three inch cap on this on this uh, on this particular pen I think 2.75 inches uh, no stranger again to this site Troy breeding and um, this is a really good looking pen all he does all of his own engraving as well this is his own plunger mechanism even uh, tinted that clear view window to match the ebonite and there it is with the cap off always amazing what he comes up with one of the best uh, pen makers out there in my opinion uh, same thing with uh, Tim Cohen one of the best pen makers you know there's, there's a, a big group of them this is um, I forget what sort of a tooth this is, but this is a tooth here. You can see all the etching and engraving that goes into um, all of his uh, metal work as well. And there's another close up there. And you know what? I think that is it for this particular uh, video. So a real quick short one. And um, anyway, that's it.
Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day.